guys in a pretty crazy video very short video alpha investments it is titled reveals more heavy bags i've actually watched this video it's only half a minute and he shows you modern horizons which explains why all the alpha investment lemmings are trying to sell modern horizons they all have like 40 or 50 or 100 boxes of modern horizons i'm starting to think that Maybe there was some type of special sale or an ongoing sale where he just sold them a ton of these products. Yeah, it explains the price of it. When you have one dude who's hoarding all the product, product will go up. Some people will buy the inflated price, open the boxes, and then nada. And then they sit on the boxes for years and years and hope they go up. And, but how are you going to sell so much? So he had Weiss, remember he had spent a million dollar, Alpha Investment has spent a million dollars on Weiss cards. The Weiss market, the game, the ones that he has at least, I think he probably made a little bit of money, but the question is how are you gonna move that volume? Weiss is not a super popular game like Magic is. You look at their YouTube channels, they might have a thousand subscribers at most. There's no Tolarian Community College doing Weiss. I think Weiss is a fun game. It is a collector's game, definitely, where you're trying to hunt these autograph cards, which are not real autographs. They're basically what MTG art cards are when they have the little gold signature, right? So, pretty interesting. He also had Card Fight Vanguard. Uh, he had MetaZoo, of course, lots of MetaZoo, always pumping that MetaZoo. Mercard 5 Vanguard, very interesting. Uh, I think he still has a lot of buddy fight. And he has not moved the product. He did not show Pokemon, remember his bathroom at Pokemon. He hopefully moved it when Pokemon was booming. I think his inventory looks very similar to all of his patrons inventory because remember that's why he's selling them so whatever he has is whatever he's been selling to them and they are very heavy bags they're i mean the storage he lives in florida what happened hopefully they're insured what happens if someone breaks in what happens if there's a hurricane and it wipes out or there's a flood you know, I have had scenarios like that happen to myself in Houston, Hurricane Harvey, where I did lose a portion of my collection um, to flooding in my garage and flooding in storage. Unfortunately, the things that are not... Now I've learned to put things in those uh, plastic containers, but at the time, you know, that's foresight, it's already too late. Everyone trying to buy plastic containers at Home Depot or Lowe's, right? So there's no plastic containers left to put your cards in. So my big takeaway is you gotta give Rudy credit, Alpha Investments credit. He does do what he preaches. I mean, he's just a hoarder. Like when you, I saw that video, he, he, I mean, he didn't sell any Weiss out of his million dollars, like Weiss Schwartz, I mean, nobody bought them like the card five vanguard is still there I, it doesn't make any sense like shouldn't he have already moved them on patreon the meta zoo he has so much of it and he himself does not open packs like i open packs every you know i go on a binge i can open 400 500 packs in a sitting uh for the meta x i open 2500 packs and 1500 starter boxes which are basically bigger booster packs because they have random foils in them in a day. Um, you guys have seen me live stream. The amount of packs I can open in three hours is really even impressive to me. I mean, I'm like, wow, I, did I really open, you know, a few hundred packs in three hours? Yeah, it's, it's hard not to. You know, I have just stacks and stacks of bulk and, you know, he his stacks, I mean, wow, it, it, it's just, they're what he said they're heavy bags how are you gonna if you move your home or you know your wife has a new job or you have a new job how are you gonna move this stuff and this is something that i have thought about myself because i have a lot of anime figure i mean i'm a hoarder too but that's this is like a new level of hoarding like 
And I don't like how the boxes are stacked just on top to the ceiling. I, I don't know, that just freaks me out. I feel like that's very dangerous. When I'm stacking bulk, I'm stacking only four up, four boxes up. So the fact that all that weiss is stacked on top of each other, like it's not, almost not real. When it, it just collapse, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like if you've ever had a lot of cards and you ever stacked a ton of cards, there is the problem that like, hey, this thing might collapse. So I have been a huge proponent. You know, I have been buying Fire Emblem Cypher, spent probably $25,000 ending my journey, Amazon and FedEx. FedEx being the one who's losing all my packages, Amazon being the one who cut me off from buying more and also losing my packages. So right now I've been, I don't know what's going on with Japan right now, but they're losing a lot of packages. They shouldn't be, they've never lost in the past. So in kind of my mindset, the one thing that I really wanna make clear is, yeah, when you buy, you buy, you buy, you gotta sell. Like, it's crazy to me that you can preach a philosophy of you just buying and not preach a philosophy of you selling. And eventually, no matter how big your home is, no matter how big Rudy's basement is, you run out of space. And that's happened to me many times. In fact, I made my closet, I have a walk-in closet. Clearly the closet was designed by a female. It's got like double stack. It's a huge closet with, I mean, it could be a, even like a private library. I thought about that, but it's like next to my shower. So I thought it would be a really cool library to have, but then like, you know, put like old valuable books in it. <laughs> you know, I just put all my Funkos in it because the Funkos take so much space. Not all my Funkos, like, I mean, I have so much Funkos. It's ridiculous. So I too have hoarded beyond beyond what is reasonable, but not, not to this extent. This is something else when you see the card fight, cause like you have to understand this stuff is, if you couldn't move the card, card fight Vanguard is a game where power creep is beyond whatever, it, it's so crazy. And it's not like a super popular game. So how are you gonna sell it all? I was going to make the live streaming box break thing, but you know, I got better things to do. I have meetings like just tomorrow alone. My dog groomers coming to groom my free dogs. Like dudes coming from like the middle of nowhere to do a business deal with me for some Pokemon cards, uh, for some, what is it, ETBs? Cause I just want a, a whole room of ETBs, I guess. And uh, even beyond that, um, I have an important phone call at like 12 or 11, 11 to 12 for business. I didn't, I mean, it, it just became really apparent. I can't stream three hours. A, I can't stream even one hour a day consistently because my life is, you know, like when you get, yeah, you have, you have to walk the dogs. I mean, I don't, I don't understand how anyone can stream so frequently. <laughs> You know, it's, 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 it sounds like a good idea. And it's definitely YouTube's algorithm is loving, would love that. But in hindsight, it's just kind of like, what's going on here? Anyway, my main takeaway and the takeaway I think I want to really give to you is that's a lot of heavy bags. Don't be the one, don't be like Rudy Chan. Don't, don't do that guys. That's I look at that and it makes me, as a hoarder myself, I cringe because I know how heavy that stuff is to move. I know that if he wants to move it slightly to make more room, because I've done that in my own garage, right? So like I have stacks of bulk in my garage that I don't feel like taking to storage. And then when I do feel like taking to storage, it's multiple trips in my SUV to, you know, I kind of want to buy a truck just for storage, but that sounds like insane, right? To buy a $40,000, $50,000 truck. Maybe I can buy a used truck for less. Um, to just put maybe a U-Haul, but like eventually that's what will happen because I have a free car garage and two of the garage parking spaces are just bulk. I mean, they're not even bulk. There's some good cards and stuff. I mean, there's some reserve lists. Like, it, it's crazy. I, you can just find handfuls of Norway which are random things because they're not. I realize that when I'm breaking pat, you don't, I don't think anyone has any concept of how many packs I break a day. I can sit there at a Zoom meeting and the Zoom meeting is like three hours my team and I'm just breaking packs <laughs> with unmute. 
<laughs> in that three hour thing, I can break a few hundred backs. Um, and it's fun, you know, you're, you're looking for that chase. Um, Pokemon right now are, is very cheap packs, $2.10 for me. And then if I want sealed or sleeved, it's two fifty. dollars But like, I really shouldn't be breaking those type of stuff because they do go up a lot in price. As I unfortunately found out um, that the price is pretty crazy high for something like that. The sleeved Pokemon packs, given enough age. So I really shouldn't be breaking that. I should probably be stopping that. Um, so overall, my main takeaway is I like so much shit. I've been buying collections after collection after collection. I have not been selling anything. The box breaking was my attempt to sell, but I just ended up buying more stuff. And nobody even bought a single pack. So how successful is a live stream box breaking channel? I don't know because no one's even paid. Well, I mean, there was a guy who donated like a dollar every time stream. So that was nice. But nobody bought a single pack. But then again, I didn't advertise. So like for $2.10 a pack, like why am I going to sell a pack? Like why don't I just open it? Kind of is my concept because I know this is a cheap I don't think it's going to get that much cheaper on this type of product. So anyway, I get alpha investments. I too am a hoarder, but it just makes me cringe to see that like there's still so much card fight Vanguard. There's probably 90% of his wife's $1 million collection video and it's stacked to the ceiling. And that makes me cringe so hard because I know those boxes can't hold up. I have those same boxes and I try to stack them as high as I can. I know like the tension because I stack my Pokemon boxes to the ceiling and it doesn't work. I wish it worked, but it doesn't. It's just kind of, you, you don't want to be like that guys because it's so heavy. These boxes are so heavy to move. Like it, it, I, I can tell you like doing my live stream setup, just moving my boxes again it's probably 27 plus more probably forty thousand dollars of boxes upstairs from downstairs was already like half a day thing don't do it guys don't do not hoard i know oh look at rudy he made so much money and stuff you only make money when you sell if you don't know how to sell don't hoard because it never goes away now, if you want to open packs and have a good time, that's something else, man. That Yeah, go ahead. Go for it because that's a lot of fun. That's what I'm doing now. I'm really just loving opening packs. I open probably two months worth of packs in a day and then the video is recorded and they're uploaded and they're, I just have to schedule them out uh, for a month. Bye, <laughs> guys.